Today marks our 20,000th year. One score millennia since we began scouring the stars in search of life, hope, connection. If the Drusir are ever snuffed out of existence, there will be nothing of the universe left to witness itself. Such is our fear. We will find life, foster it if necessary, commune with it if possible. Yet, 20,000 years into our quest, we have not uncovered a single living cell that is not of our home world. I blame myself. As Primus Astropath, it falls to me to guide our search. If there truly is nothing to be found, then there is no blame to be applied. But even so, I feel the weight of my burden deeply. Yet, I sit with my hope. None understand the expanse of the universe more intimately than the astropaths. We who can see the stellar currents as they stretch from one galactic horizon to the next. Numerous though we may be, the Drasir are but a single moat in a vast ocean. If even one other such moat exists, it will take a great deal of time to find. And for the purposes of this endeavor, time is our friend.
seen anything like this before.
been waiting. That's far enough. Axel Deck. It stands before the Eternal Empress, mistress of the Red Court, favored of the Thane. Yet it is nothing. Hoofless, feckless, interloper. Easy. Easy now. And where it stands, it dies. Well, maybe we can talk about this? It seems it shall live, for now. But tell us, Paxeltek, what woes does it bring this time? It stands before the Eternal Empress, once and future ruler of Yesha. Her Majesty asks once more. What brings the Pecs of Tech to her court? Answer, for eternal life is not the same as eternal patience. Her Majesty is unsurprised by its solipsism. From the Krell to Ford to the Destroyer, Paxotech ever served the wants of the self. <sighs> There is no name more cursed in these royal halls. When the pestilence came, Ford succored the schismatics. Treachery turned to ruin. Ruin to desperation. Her Majesty would see Ford bleed. Would see all Paxotech put to the blade. But the Paxotech prowess is fearful. Ford, the Destroyer, and others were staggering, undeniable. Perhaps Paxeltech's strength can serve to liberate rather than oppress Her Majesty. In her eternal wisdom, will grant it grace. The Paxeltech's life in exchange for another's. Her permanence has spent many lifetimes communing with the Thane. The Holy Tree grants euthanasia, but also clarity. The Paxotec needs salvation, power to overcome the only true enemy. Do not demure, for it has not the guile to see beyond her eternity. All dance to the same world song. Different notes, different parts, same tune. The Paxotec seeks the abomination. It would slay this creature, and her eternity would see it slain. In this way, it will prove its loyalty and worth. Her Majesty will not suffer another transgressor. It deserves death, yet spits at the alternative. Her infinitude is too gracious, yet let it decide. Her permanence savors either outcome. She desires only to bring the Nunyatov back to the pen, to draw her people back from the abyss created by the Sundering. But the abomination bedevils her will. A horror, wretched in her sight. Let the Paxotec face this dark spirit. Be not her bane, but her blade. Then, the Paxeltech shall have its reward. Ask them, but do not test her eternity's grace. Does it need a reason to obey eternity? Hmm. Perhaps hating the fiend as we do would sharpen its edge. We once had a guardian, 
a god of many faces. This one of many was destroyed by Paxotec. And now, in the Guardian's rotting remains, root and ruin have entwined into a horror and a mockery of divinity. Many has her eternity sent. She has yet to hear of their success. Paxotec, however, have an unrivaled capacity for death and disruption. Her permanence would see it used for the good of Pan for once. Take it as you wish, it does not change the truth of it. Ha! Ah, Paxotex sundered the sane, trained the rebellious, and slaughtered the divine! Never has one walked into our world without defiling our peace! Her eternity suffers this one. Only to undo but one sin among many. Mm. Peace and greatness, Paxotec. Nunyutav will once again return to the Eternal Court, bringing immortality to the deserved. And the Deathless One will put her hoof through the black heart of the Root. The Nunyatav is a sacrament do the exalted. It is not for the lips of even the common Pan, let alone the unworthy Paxotec. Her permanence will not speak of this again. When the Dark Spirit wormed its decay into our god, the husk of the Blessed Thane grew malign. The eternal ziggurat was torn asunder. Our world now hangs by its tendrils, and our future by a strand of hope thinner still. Ah, a mortal concept. Vengeance is for those whose lives are too short to see beyond it. Her eternity's vision spans the totality of time. Vengeance is too petty a word. The foolish Kuri Kuri could sooner comprehend the desires of the sun than the Paxotec could grasp the powers of her permanence. It speaks above its station. We do not explain ourselves to Paxotec. If it asks again, her answer shall be written in steel. Insolence! Gods! Teach the Paxotec to bow before eternity! Strong Paxotec, dauntless, ruthless, it has passed the test. It is as clever as it is deadly. Now her eternity knows it is the one she seeks. The one for a task most delicate. Ah, forbearance, Paxotec. 
Her permanence suspected it would meet the challenge, but she had to be certain. Assured? Unequivocal. The reward she offers is great. She desires nothing more than to bring the Nunyuta back to the path. To let her subject share the death of death with her. Restoration. This desire burns steadily. Like her eternity, it is unextinguished by the turning of passion, of bias, of the... Sundering. But a dark spirit bedevils her will. An abomination, a mockery, a horror, wretched in her sight. Let its backs of tech nature touch this abomination. Be not her bane, but her blade. Fell the creature in tribute. Then it shall have its reward. The death of a great beast. Be brief. Even to frequent supplication tests her eternity's grace. To desire is neither easy nor safe. Go forth, Blade. Cut away the rot that plagues this world. Prove there is one Paxel Tech that is more useful living than dead.
It's over. That's it, for now. <laughs>